Good evening, I'm Miklesh Yadav. Today I'll talk about variance decomposition which is also known as forecast error variance decomposition. Well, basically variance decomposition helps to determine how much of the forecast error variance of each of the variables is explained by exogenous shocks to other variables. I have data set of unemployment rate and inflation from 1950 to 2014. I am going to investigate variance decomposition or forecast error variance explained by unemployment rate on inflation and inflation on unemployment rate. So in order to apply variance decomposition, first and foremost in our studio, we need words packages and then there are some steps which we have to follow like uh, the first step is testing the stationarity. I have already tested the stationarity and I found both of these two variables are stationary at level. Step 2 talks about optimal lag. I have selected optimal lag and that is lag 2 is optimal lag. A step 3 talks about applying vector autoregression. In last video, I have already applied this vector autoregression. So kindly before watching this video, go through the video of vector autoregression. With the help of this command, we can apply vector autoregression. Now I have stored the value of this in model 1, which is here. It means in this model 1, the value of var command is stored. Finally, after going through 1, 2, 3 steps, we can apply for variance decomposition or forecast error variance decomposition. Well, so first and foremost, we require VARS package. I have already installed this VARS package. So simply, I'm going to load it in library. Library, VARS, and then enter. Now, it is stored in our studio. After doing this, as I have already stored the value of var in model 1, directly I can run variance decomposition. So what is command? Command is FEVD. It means forecast error variance decomposition and the value of var which is in model 1, then n dot ahead. It means this n dot ahead equal to 5 is nothing but simply period of estimation for variance error. It means this is the number of years for which we are going to find out error variance or forecast error variance. That's why I write here number of 5. We can also write instead of 5, we can also check for the 10. But due to some uh, observation period, we have very few observation period. That's why I'm going to forecast for only 5 years. So simply, I copy this command and then I paste here and then enter. Well, this is the outcome derived from this 
forecast error variance decomposition command. We have two variables. One is unemployment rate and another one is inflation. So first and foremost, we'll be talking about unemployment rate. This one, two, three, four and five are nothing but number of period of forecast error variance. One and two period are assumed as short run period, whereas three to five years are treated as long run of forecast error variance. Talking about first variable, which is unemployment rate, it says that in first year, unemployment rate has 100% of forecast error variance because of unemployment rate itself. It means inflation has zero influence on unemployment rate because entire 100% is explained by unemployment rate itself. In second year, 95.77% of forecast error variance is explained by unemployment rate itself, whereas 4.22% has been explained by inflation on unemployment rate. Similarly, this is the value of three years, four years, and five years. Talking about second variable, which is inflation. In first year, inflation has influence by inflation itself, and that is 99.72%. Only 0.027% influence has been made by unemployment rate on inflation. Similarly, in year second, 95.5% has been explained by inflation and only 0.044 has been explained by unemployment rate. Similarly, similarly we can explain year third, year four, and year five. So this is all about forecast error variance decomposition. Thank you very much.